Each contestant has brought in one of their own personal possessions for the Fair. prize haul. And this time you've asked them to bring in their most meaningful item. Tim. Um, I brought in a piston. <laughs> okay, well, you know I like to give people a chance to justify their decisions. When I did my show, I was very proud of my show, and it was kind of quite an emotional thing to win it. Oh. And on my show, it was sort of scattered with all these sort of weird and wonderful props, like fridges and stuff like that. But I couldn't really keep it because I didn't really have a flat of my own. So I got rid of everything from the show apart Except from piston. my piston. Oh. And so the piston is very important to me. It means a lot to me, and I'm putting that up into the um, prize gallery. Well, much. We haven't actually exchanged any words, and you look furious with me already. <laughs> <laughs> I have brought in uh, something that's fairly meaningful to me. Okay. Uh, it's my wedding ring. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Can I just... It, it's genuinely your wedding ring? Yes, it's genuinely my wedding Does ring. Does your wife know? She doesn't... Well... Is that no? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she, doesn't, she, doesn't she doesn't know. All of these prizes are absolutely genuine, and the winner of this show will take the prizes home, so Ramesh could lose his own wedding like, ring. I am in, like, genuinely in deep trouble if that doesn't come home. So doesn't. am I if I turn off in it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go, Frank. Frank's back, baby. I have brought in a dictionary. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh dear, Roshi. Oh, don't oh. Oh. Don't hit her. Come in. <laughs> oh, she booped it. To be her. fair, it her. is the present so far that I most want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Ramesh's wife will be delighted to hear that. <laughs> Josh, what did you bring him? In the uh, mid to late nineties, my father started writing a string of angry letters to the local newspaper, which uh, no publisher wanted to make into a book, so he got it published himself. Oh, oh, no. And he'd I Blame the Beatles by Tom Widdicombe. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it, you thought the dictionary would be the most boring book no. around. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, a, it is the only copy uh, I've got, which is a personalised book from my father. Have you read it, Josh? <laughs> You've not read your own dad's book. <laughs> I brought in my small child's hobby horse. Oh. Oh. This means a great deal to me because when I was a child, I really, really wanted a hobby horse. They'd just been invented. <laughs> <laughs> and my family could only afford to get me the stick. In fifth place, it'll be Roshin Conaty, obviously. <laughs> uh, fourth, I'm going to put Josh's dad's book oh, in. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh, a gift from my dad. Third, the I hobby no horse. Longer speak to. But you. <laughs> I know for a fact it's not that way around. He won't speak to you because you didn't read. <laughs> you didn't read his book. <laughs> Third, I'm going to put uh, the piston because it's a piston. <laughs> Second for Frank, and you know. Yeah, the wedding ring. The wedding ring is absolutely fucking insane. Is actively trying to wreck his own marriage on television. <laughs> the winner of the first task tonight, Ramesh Ranganathan. Nice job. Nice job. Hey, three points though. So this is a real. Boost to me, right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest distance. You have exactly one hour. Your oh. time starts now. I've grouped Ramesh, Roshin and Frank together. Do you want to see how they did it? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wet is better. Give it a little bit more weight, you can throw it farther. See? Good call, good call. Let's do this. I've only brought out one tea bag. <laughs> What an insanely brazen show of confidence. Going outside with one tea bag. No. Wet it. I need to wet it. Good call. Good what call. If I put loads of teacups around and just increase my chances. That That's so fucking smart. I wish I would have thought of that. Make a goddamn conglomeration of mugs and then go on the roof and then just yeet us the fetus. Oh, I love that. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? What? you got to wet him. You've got to wet him. Okay, he's actually choking the bag. That's the first one in. <gasps> A slide of sorts? I, I, God, I respect it. I respect it. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, my God, Frank, you genius. That's even smarter than the multiple mugs. I don't see them getting this kind of distance. Poets, girls. He also <laughs> wet it, which I think Someone is very smart. Someone the first 45 minutes realising it's better if they're wet. I just realised I should probably wet them. <laughs> Classic. I quite like them to discover that, make that realisation. But... 
Unbelievable. There, I've just moved my hand a little bit, but it's there, it's in the mug. <laughs> yeah! yeah! I don't, I liked his idea with the mugs, but I don't like his execution of anything. What, mate? What distance did Ramesh get? Was it impressive? It's about eight and a half dogs. I've measured it. Well, if, um... <laughs> I've done a system of eight and a half dogs. Yeah? Presuming a dog is a metre long. So eight and a half metres. How many dogs <laughs> did uh, Roaching do? Uh, 2.4 dogs. Frank, um, amazing structure. Mm. Presumably a good distance. It was 10. 10.04 metres. Can I... if, if he was to dispute whether it was a mug, I don't think you should dispute it's a mug, but you've got to cover yourself against these things, haven't you? <gasps> oh, no, no. Right, tea. I mean, it didn't Prove roll Prove that it is a mug. We're going to have high tea from the mug. <laughs> Let's go! You, Drake's you, for Josh. That's what I'm talking about. Before we even seat him, I'm uh, disqualifying you. <gasps> but I'm... He drank from the wheelbarrow. I'm not disqualifying you because a wheelbarrow isn't a mug. I'm disqualifying you because you put the milk in first. <laughs> uh, British humour. Oh, it's like golf. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny that no one else can find anything. Look at all the stuff he's doing. Tim, you got a tennis ball? Yeah, it's tennis ball. He went and got the chuck it for him. All right, cut a Thank hole you. in it and put a tea bag in there. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. <sighs> All right, now he's probably got at least 40 minutes to do this. Yes! I mean, go for the back. Go for the back, baby. Uh, nice job, Tim. Uh, nice job. It was a new world record, um, presumably. It was... Uh, 23 meters and 87 Whoa. centimeters. It was the first row. First row. Wow. This is an open and shut case. The winner of the first task tonight, Mr. Tim Key. Yeah. Nice job, Tim. Using this device to track your route. That device? To create the best image for Taskmaster. You have one hour. Your time starts when you take your first step. It's there to draw something. You're probably not the only person who's confused by this. Alex, just yeah. want to explain very clearly what this is about. I, well, I'll try. We, we gave the contestants a sort of GPS tracking device, so wherever mm -hmm. they moved, there would be a little line following them. It's a bit like Etch-a-Sketch, but on a larger scale. OK? Yeah. OK, see OK. Do you know, I'd like to see Josh first. OK. Let's have a look at Josh. This is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you something for free. That white line's not straight, judging by the satellite. Someone needs to have a word with that groundsman. <laughs> oh, you can see your route on the satellite? Oh, it's you a flower. You can't do much detail. That's what I've learned. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Which I'm it's slightly hot. messed up, and I may have to go into that person's house. <laughs> but great art comes at a cost, I've always heard. Come on, colouring. Yes. <laughs> I like it. I mean, talk about redeeming yourself. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, thank you, Greg. Do you know um, how I would deliver that uh, to you? Via wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Who should we see next? Roshi knows you slightly better, so she chose to draw something that she thought you really liked. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll draw... <laughs> sausage? <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like sausages? <laughs> There's not enough pictures of sausages. <laughs> Okay. Go with how I feel, see what happens, making some shapes. I'm back. I've decided it's a bunch of flowers. Oh, she do flowers as well. So it started off as a sausage, then you changed to bacon pretty quickly. The, the high point, I think, was the pregnant lady. We can see the pregnant lady with a tail. That was not, that wasn't bad. <laughs> but I it was bad. To an angel. Yeah, you went for the angel of the north, but it, it, it swiftly ended up with that. <laughs> And you're calling that a, a bunch of tulips? Oh, it's a bunch of tulips. You made just several errors there. Yeah. I mean, you said, oh, I'll turn it into a pregnant lady. Uh, you know, he'd be hard pushed to criticise that. And I'm one, I'm one of the few people in the world who despises the pregnant community. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, he's always going on about it. <laughs> uh, I presume Tim Key is a poet. Uh, he'll have some more artistic skills. It was a, it's, Tim's was a sort of standout performance, and I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yet. Okay, let's see what you got, Tim. 
Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> I feel like he should have just drawn a soccer field. I think that would be funny. You just follow literally the exact lines on the field, and it's got a perfect soccer field for you. Tim, that's a parking lot. Oh, Timothy. <laughs> Oh, a, a, a sword fighter. It's very bad conditions for art. <laughs> it is a little tough out there. Tim, I'm sorry. It's I am sorry. He was the only person who did it for the whole hour, and he, he ran well over three miles. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a long painting. That is a long painting. What is it? But firstly, can I just say, that's the worst hour of my life. Secondly... <laughs> <laughs> I started off trying to draw a key, then I crossed it out. <laughs> oh, OK, I crossed out key. And then I just, I literally thought, well, I mean, I've got half an hour, I might as well go for a run. <laughs> Love that. Frank uh, completed his picture in eight minutes, just so you know. Do you want to see it? Yes. OK, his and Ramesh are grouped together. This is them. All right, Frank and Ramesh. A beautiful bright day. Didn't allow for the goals. Just a slight problem. not gone the way I've hoped early doors, I'll be honest with you. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And the balloons aren't helping, by the way, just as a little tip. This is just my rough draft. What am I seeing? A, a toilet? I've only gone and framed it, mate. Smashed it. It's got a fucking border on it, yeah? <laughs> oh, my God, is it his face? <laughs> what is it? It's actually my son's hobby horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mesh. Incredibly accurate self-portrait, right? <laughs> that actually looks amazing. He's got to win this one, right? That's the best one by far. I thought that you'd like a picture of me. We've already got on on this show, haven't we? Are those oblongs your ears? That was supposed to be the frame of the Hold picture. Hold on, it. this isn't you in a cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Sausage Girl is last. <laughs> Have you seen Frank's? <laughs> that looks like a hobby horse. That oh, does look like hobby horse. Come on, horse. I've got tulips and the Angel of the North and... Yours looks like a dock in a golf bag. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make it absolutely clear, if you'd have told me that that was a drawing of a duck in a golf bag, you'd be right at the top of the pile now. <laughs> ah, tough, Fourth, Frank, tough. third, Tim Key. I've no idea what it is, mate. I was doing mine in a storm. <laughs> <laughs> I should give you a True. bonus point for risking your life, but I'm not going to. Oh. Uh, Ramesh, I don't want that, and I never want to see it again, but I have to recognise it's actually a picture, therefore I'm going to put you in second place, and I'll thank you to give me a smile. <laughs> oh, I don't love that. And the winner of that task, of course, the only artist in the group, the wonderful Mr Josh Widdicombe wins the task. <laughs> OK. Quick check on the scores, please, Alex Horn. OK, so the top three, uh, Ramesh Ranganathan's in first place, followed by Tim Key. All right, the wedding Frank's ring gambit. Hi, right. okay. okay. Money. Oh, my word, £20. Buy the best present for the taskmaster. Here is £20. You have ten weeks. Your time stops. Ten weeks? You have ten weeks to buy a present? Here's the deal. You put that 20 pounds in Robin Hood, dude. You double it up. You triple it up. AMC, you quadruple it up. You take that, you put it in Ethereum. You quintuple it up, you eventually buy the man a car. Imagine. So it doesn't say I have to buy it with the 20 pounds, does it? So oh, actually true. 20 pounds isn't even a limit. Can I have your lovely gift? Yeah, sure. But it, I worry that you... I have a feeling it's just 20 pounds. He's brought me some national book tokens. <laughs> Let me guess, 20 quid's worth. 16 pounds worth. <laughs> <laughs> the, card, the card was four. No, <laughs> no way was that a, is that a four that pound card. That was four, yeah. yeah. Thanks very much, you definitely haven't won. Right, I'd like Frank's <laughs> gift now, if that's all right. OK, Thank Frank. Very much. Looks like a glasses case. It is a glasses case. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> not a bad gift. Yeah. Hey, not a bad gift at all. Now, do you notice anything special? Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, if that 
Oh, I can notice yes, something special. Yes, yes, no, it's happening. <laughs> These glasses have got wing mirrors on them. Yes, you can... They so are, I can see behind me. They are see behind me sunglasses. Oh, oh. my God. Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look at Ramesh's. A calendar? Thanks, mate. Really hope you like it. <laughs> a painting? <laughs> I, I commissioned this piece for you. Well... I mean, I don't know. I just genuinely don't know. <laughs> ah, he's like God, the duck feet. Morris, did you draw it while walking around a field? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the duck feet? I wanted to show that you were all terrain. Like, like, like... <laughs> no, that makes sense to me. <laughs> sort of next, next best thing to a Jeep, I was about to say. I think I'll have a look at Josh's gift next, please. Um, I've felt we've been getting on very well, Greg. Yeah, I think it's gone all right. I mm -hmm. thought you'd worry that I'd forget you after this, so... I've got a tattoo. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Josh says, I did good with the flower. I'm not letting this one slip away. That is a killer. It's something you said you wanted. You were drunk. You said you were into them. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That is an amazing present. Because it was only seventeen pounds, I got you free scratch cards as well. Uh, <laughs> watch and learn, yeah, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got my own mouse. <laughs> He's also called Greg. So I, I've got a tattoo of his name. <laughs> Obviously, the book tokens are last. I'm uh, sorry, Romesh, yours is... If you hadn't stuck duck's feet on me, you would have been right up mm, there. Tough. That's tough, coming tough, in tough. at fourth. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I'll be using the sunglasses every day, but they've got to come in third place. I don't know what to do with you two. Yeah, I do. Anyone who permanently inks himself <laughs> up... <laughs> Surely has to win this task, Mr. Yeah. Josh. Will be good. good call. Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Show me the next task. Using only the items currently on this table, get this egg as high as possible. Highest wins. The egg must not break. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Get it as high as possible using these items. So I've got colouring pens. Well, why would I use pens? <laughs> Respect the idea. Don't love it. Is tape an option? I feel like there's no tape there. If there it's is... What the hell to do? <laughs> Make that 111. That was it. <laughs> Let's get this straight. Your next teacher, Yeah. after 20 minutes, the aim being to get an egg as high as you can. Yeah. You put an egg onto a ream of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and pens, on the pens as well. Oh, I'm sorry, and on top of the pens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How high did... Well, one get... metre 11 because of the pens, it would have been one metre 10, so... That was more or less how mine came. It was exactly how yours came. <laughs> so you already got a head start. <laughs> I think it's like when you're playing blackjack and you hope the dealer busts. For him, he's like, you know what? I'm just not going to get crazy here. Does it have to stay as high as possible for a certain amount of time? What are you thinking? Throw it up and catch it. <gasps> oh, this... Don't just hold your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> it was so obvious that was going to happen. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is going to sound a little bit harsh. If it were up to me, you'd be kicked off the show for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just start Who's with next? a small throw. Oh, Tim Key? Ah, the poet and the egg. <laughs> sound is turning into who cannot break an egg in 20 minutes. Uh, who are we going to see next? Uh, the final two, Frank and Josh. Get this egg as high as possible. It doesn't have to be at that height for very long. Can I throw the egg in the air? I'm just going to build a craft mat. A paper. Oh, hold on. What? what if I wrap the egg several times in this paper, giving it a bit of protection? I feel like it's going to make it more squirrely. Really high. I think the crash pad is brain dead. It's I, still going to break. Completely. 
judge the trajectories. I'll try and go straight up, straight down. How long have I got left for it? 9.41. Five and a half minutes. It's like Josh has never held an egg that he thinks this is going to save it. One minute, Josh, one minute. Ready? I'm really nervous. No! <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of a crash pad. He did crumble paper for so long. Yeah, so at this point, Josh's egg got to six metres uh, 80. Frank's got to eight metres. <whistles> Frank's is higher. So Frank is potentially going to clean up here. Should we see if the egg's broke? OK. Ready? <laughs> no! No. <laughs> Never mind if I'm all right. If the egg is not cracked, he wins. How did that not break? <laughs> um, didn't work out. Did Josh win? I was so confident. I couldn't see anything going wrong. His egg just didn't break. So it was a sort of minor miracle. Josh's egg, I mean, I don't know why you threw it again. No, I don't know. I got a kind of rush of blood to the head. The thing with eggs, because they're born by birds, that if they land on grass, they're designed not to break. Is this why birds don't wrap them in paper? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would be announcing this score. Three people have failed the task. Josh is obviously the winner. And against all natural odds, <laughs> in second place, one match. He just didn't egg. move his egg and he got second. Literally, not a single person just held Remember their egg above on, their head. Someone might be depriving Tim Key of a pistol. Still on a chair. I know, right? <laughs> I would like Josh to read out the task, please. Stand up after 100 seconds. Thank you, Josh. It was a lovely voice. Ah, lovely oh, thank voice. you very much, Alex. So you must not look at your watch, Romesh. <laughs> Is it a vibrate watch? I don't know. Can I have your watch, please, mate? What? Can I have your watch? <laughs> Take the man's watch. What a showbiz mugging. <laughs> <It's> Alex? <laughs> Yeah, I watch F1. I haven't watched France though, so. Pretty exciting. Uh, Tim, how many seconds do you think you're on at the moment? 35. <laughs> oh! Alex, Ramesh seems to me look really nervous. Is there anything you could give Ramesh that would sort of give him a little lift? Because look how nervous he looks. Oh, there, look. <laughs> oh, no. That should give him a Not little... a cardboard <laughs> box. Give He's him a locked boost. in, dude. He wants his wedding <laughs> ring back. Whoa, Bang! You're an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Someone has just jumped themselves into last place, ladies and gentlemen. What was it? You can't sit back down. I'm not gonna stand up. Is she having another go? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whittaker has gone. I already went. Ooh. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, they're all up, they're all up. All right, who was closest to a minute? Amazing. You were in last place twice. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Skinner was the fourth closest. Oh, mm. no. These two were exactly the same. Romesh and Tim both stood up about 12 seconds after 100 seconds. Josh Whittacombe, five seconds after the 100 seconds. He stood up. Josh won the wedding ring! I like Josh. Seconds. Wow, impressive. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Final scores are these. Oh, it's a tie. Oh. Tiebreaker? A hide and seek tiebreaker? A tiebreak situation. We have a Taskmaster tiebreaker question. Okay. So I'm going to ask you both a question. It's a number question. Whichever of you is closest to the right answer, God, would, you're going to win. Okay. The die. question is please give me Frank Skinner's age in minutes. <laughs> oh. He's a maths teacher. What are the three options? It's not multiple choice, <laughs> mate. <laughs> okay. Can't he? Can you go first? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't. 150,000? Oh, that's 150,000. That's way too low. Oh, I'm just a bit higher, like, 200,000. So Frank Skinner is 30,505,028 yeah. minutes old, which means that Josh Whittacombe is the closest. But... Going second now is so much better. He could have just said one number and higher. so the yeah. former maths Tough. teacher loses his <laughs> wedding ring. The winner of the that show to today, to ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Josh Whittacombe. He was Whittaker. my favourite!
Good night. <laughs> good episode. Good episode and good show. Thank you guys so much for recommending it.